evening we celebrate the K9 stars of 2023. Such a memorable year on the track, whilst also honouring some people that have had great influence on our sport. Before the end of the evening, we will have a new member of the Hall of Fame, a new Welfare Award winner, and a very worthy recipient of the Special Merit Award. And first of all, we are going to kick off with our Welfare Award. It gives me great joy to ask you to join your hands for the Welfare Award winners of 2023, John and Patricia Nash. What is it about Greyhounds? Obviously, they're in the blood. As you said yourself, it's very hard to shake them, but your undying love is there for all to see. Oh, fantastic. I, I couldn't have any other breed, like. Absolutely fantastic. I've had them all my life since I was born. They're around longer than Patricia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Careful, Patricia. I think he's iron, iron kicking you out. Oh, you are. That's so fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's pride. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the brood bitch of the year for 2023 is Mount Taylor Queen. The stud dog of the year for 2023, Droopy Sydney. It gives me great pleasure to unveil the winner our future star of the year, Why I Bonnie Lads. <laughs> the worthy sprinter of the year is Carrick Aldo. <laughs> the stayer of the year for 2023 is Kinturk Rose. I can now ask you to show your appreciation for this year's most worthy Special Merit Award winner, Finbar Coleman. You were putting in the whole yard, all the, the long hours, the, the hard yards, not seeing the kids or, or sending them across to the track to clean up uh, yards and whatnot. Did you think it would come to this? And I went down in Waterford one day and I met this security lad and he called me and he said, I work for you for a half a crown an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and there was another man that's with me and he now has 65 horses in training just a mile down the road from me and he'll be heard of in the future. Kieran Marriker and his wife, one of the head women in Apple. I suppose through the years, a lot of young people worked with you. Um, it must give you great joy to see them coming on their lives. It is fantastic. They made the achievements after leaving school and everything. And they always come back to the track to see the place. Well, I hope you're going to come back to the track and see the place plenty too. Of course. Thank you, Ian. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your Special Merit Award winner, Finbar Coleman. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, Bitch of the Year for 2023 is Crafty Chavu. Peter Divoli, the breeder, of course, and former owner of Crafty Chavu. But the Crafty Chavu story won't end with you. I believe you are getting a couple of pups back in the future. But a tremendous winner of this year's Oaks and a deserving winner of Bitch of the Year. Yeah, look, in privileged to be here tonight, even more so to win the award. Um, like you said, look, we, we wish her, her new owners all the best. She's going well in England. Um, but for us as a family to actually buy her off Sean Beatty, he was a good friend of mine, he bred her, um, we reared her the whole way through, you know what I mean, and then my mother in fairness puts a lot of work into them as well, so it's, it's a family outing, you know what I mean, and to go the whole way and win the Oaks is, is great, but then to win Bitch of the Year and I suppose be here again after winning an award last year is not too bad either. Of course, you're, you, you, like you were at the end of the lead. The Divoli family were at the end of the lead for that out success. So it'll always stand you. It's a special, special time. But you've always been the type that when you do sell them on, you wish them every success. Isn't it great to see you're doing well across the water? Yeah, well, look, it, that's the name of the game. You know, we can't keep them all. Um, for us, 
we wish everyone the best that if someone takes that money or spins their money that we hope they get the most out of them as well you know what I mean and and this bitch just happened to be that that type of bitch if, if they do want to sell her back for a, for the same money you, you'd offer them a full refund would you no 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 problem at all <laughs> but look I have another half sister coming up next year that's what we look forward to again do you know what I mean and of course we must mention Kokoro she was stayed of the year last year she's at home is she breeding yeah, so she has a nice litter to Premier Fantasy that are just eight months old now at the minute, so we're really looking forward to them, and we're looking for her to come and season anytime soon. What to go to? I don't know, because there's no Drupal Sydney <laughs> that I can go to. Um, but we're looking forward to that, and look, we have a nice couple of pups coming up again, so that's what keeps us going, you know what I mean? You're, you're, eyeing, you're eyeing up a couple more appearances on this night in the future? Hopefully, with a bit of luck, look. It's been a great two years, you know what I mean? We've, we've had great success. Um, long may it continue. The Greyhound of the Year, or the Dog of the Year, for 2023, the Derby winner, the other Colby. <laughs> Dallas O'Malley is a legend, a true Greyhound man with intelligence, wit, and personality to make him stand out in the crowd. It gives me great joy great joy to induct Dennis O'Malley, the man from Dunbanna, into the Hall of Fame. You know, we had a long discussion about Dennis on the phone. He seemed like a, a truly remarkable man. You try and get it across, but, you know, how would you describe him? Uh, he was a gentleman. He was a sportsman, is what he was. He loved all kinds of sports, any sports. He loved it. Um, he loved Limerick Hurling. He loved horse racing, dog racing, you name it. He loved it. He referred to you and your brother um, in one of the interviews as the Hurlers Nash. He, he combined the two of you as one. Yeah, he probably did. <laughs> he called us a lot of things, though. Um, <laughs> he was a great man to put a name on something. Um, and a nickname. He, 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 he was just superb. Of course, you're probably nearly a, another member of the family. I see all the girls are here. Carmel is here tonight. Uh, also, special place in your heart for them. Absolutely, yeah. Carmel is here below, sitting down here with Tony. Um, and the four girls, of course, sir. We're like family. We're like all one family. Limerick Abu. Limerick Abu. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Nash speaking on behalf of Dennis Malley. Once again, our congratulations to the entire Malley family. And of course, our Hall of Fame inductee tonight, Dennis O'Malley. I only wish he was here. It gives me great joy to name the Supreme Greyhound of the Year for 2023, the other Kobe. Jennifer, another night in Greyhound racing in more silverware, of course, this time recognising the achievements of the wonderful the other Kobe. Yes, it was super night, so it was. Look, we were very blessed to be here tonight and to have the three nominations with Scooby Countess, Mount Taylor Queen and the other Kobe. And to get three of the Three to four it was brilliant with getting the Supreme Greyhound of the Year as well. Look, we were very, very blessed. He was a super dog for us last year. He was a dog that just wanted to run. That's the, He just wanted to go out every night and do his job. And the tougher the derby got, the better he was getting each round. So he was just brilliant on the final night. And to get the Supreme Greyhound of the Year was brilliant tonight. Of course, Mount Taylor Queen is very much the, the cherry on top. What a star she has been for you. Two Derby winners. She, get, she deserves a special mention. Uh, look, Mount Taylor Queen, she's the backbone of everything at home. Even like her offspring, her granddaughters, her grandsons. Like Scooby Count is here tonight as well. She's a granddaughter of Mount Taylor Queen. So the next generation are breeding on as well. So look, she's a very, very special bitch to us at home. Like she's just, she's to everything to us. She's the main one around the kennels, that's for sure and certain. Do you have anything lined up to, uh, to, to bring you up to the stage next year? Look, who knows, the year is young yet. The Derby is pushed back to October, so we weren't in a rush of getting the dogs out too early. And we have, we were hoping Seven Beach would go in the select stakes, but unfortunately he picked up a bit of an injury, so he's going to be off for another bit. But he looks like he'll be one of our main ones. He'll be the right age. He'll be just turned three come the derby time. Um, Scooby Pacemaker is running quite well in the Kirby. And Scooby Countess, she's just coming out of season. Um, she's kind of hitting the right time now. So fortunately, the Kirby came a little bit too soon for her. Um, so we'll be hoping for the Oaks with her. And she's very, very good. So hopefully later on in the year. And we some a couple of nice pups to start off then as well. 
we'll um, hopefully we might have one or two of them. Tonight is not a night for looking forward. It's a night for celebrating the past. Congratulations, Andy the Kobe. Second, uh, second Supreme Greyhound of the Year award in a row. Yeah, look, it's absolutely brilliant. We t were blessed last year. Born Warrior was just superb. We had a brilliant night. And to get it for the second year in a row with Kobe and him being his brother, it's brilliant. Look, it's very special for us. The dogs are homebred. They're there from the start. They're treated like kids, so they are. Um, they retire mostly with us if we can, especially Born Warriors at home. Mount Taylor Queen, she's retired since 2021 from breeding. She's going around like a young one, living her best life, so she is. She demands beauty comes in, she wants her denty sticks, she's spoilt. It's, it's what it's all about. They look, you look after them, they look after you. It sounds like a utopia for retired greyhounds. <laughs> look, they, we do, we, keep, we love to keep them, even when they finish breeding. They'll always stay with us because, as I said, once you look after them, they look after you and they've earned every bit of their retirement and they deserve to enjoy it to the max.